Hey, I'm Thrand here. Hey, oh, this is Elgrim. And, and this, this is the Thang Thrand Channel. Yo! Hey, this is Thrand. I want to show you here. I've got budded mail. This is quite we tested in some other videos. This is what they're trying to say that the Roman used as his primary armor. I'm going to put this over this bottle here, like you've seen this cut many a times. And I want to show you why they didn't use budded mail. I'm going to take a nice little whack at this here. And lo and behold, what happened from a single sword? We've got a big gaping hole. Amazing, huh? Because this is why they didn't use unriveted mail. This is what happens to butted mail every time you hit it. And they're trying to say the poor Roman used it. I was showing this here because I've had some confusion about the chain shirt we used. Thinking this is 16 gauge, 5 16 inch rings, but it's silver soldered. This over here is the male coif we used. This is butted mail, like they're testing on Deadliest Warrior. And as you can see, it gets nice holes in it when you hit it with anything. Anything will thrust through it. This here is what stopped the arrow. This here is what stopped the katana. I mean, on the show they use riveted, but it's actually equivalent to it. So I just wanted you all to see this. Because I've had some confusion on that I'm using crappy mail or something. This is not crappy mail. This is extremely high quality. All silver berets are soldered. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, God! Oh, no! Don't, it went all the way through. No. She's dead. Our, our Valkyrie or our Roman uh, centurion today. Uh, yes! into the ballistics gel. Okay, the stories and accounts we have historically, we love it when things come true and you get to see it firsthand. All I know is this is multiple layers of linen uh, over hard wood. Uh, I mean, it's stopped all different kinds of arrows and this pilum, apparently it cannot stop. Uh, we've got it all the way through. So I can pull this out and show it and look behind it. And it's impaling our Valkyrie. I would like to see how deep we got it. Uh, it's out the back side through the ballistic shelter. It's coming out the back side. This is not riveted mail. I mean that could have made a small difference. We will test some mail that is sealed shut and a little bit by itself. Oh! oh! Now that is as much power as I can get from that type of throw. But I think we hit it. Right on the gel, no penetration. No penetration whatsoever. I can't even see exactly where we hit it, but it bounced right out. So if you had a proper Lorica and the rivet did not break, because remember, this does not have rivets. This is solid rings, the entire thing. Bounced right out. It was not able to penetrate it. We'll try a more powerful throw and see what's, what happens next. Ah, oh, yeah! Now, here's my problem with this. Everybody's all excited that our legionnaire is alive and well, but without a shield, honestly believe hitting over that ballistic skeleton is not going to damage the skeleton that much because it bounces. But a human body, we get all sorts of internal injury. Depending on how much padding he's wearing under here, which we only have 10 layers of cloth. We have 10 layers of cloth under here, plus the light shirt, the ballistic skeleton's under, so we're hitting over something like flesh. I mean, it feels like a belly and pushing on it. It feels like a hard, like the guy's tight his muscles up. It's a really hard gelatin. But yeah, it did not impale him, so he's not going to die from that kind of wound. But he could have some kind of internal injuries. That's all I'm saying. So we can't tell if, I mean, our Valkyrie or Legionnaire is all right, but she may be very badly injured. But we do know that she wasn't impaled by the shape, even though you would think the Bodkin shape would have went through there. With the sealed rings and them silver soldered, no, didn't go through. Test with the 45 pound bow. Now we're going to go to the 60, we're going to upgrade, and we're going to use another Bodkin point against the uh, 14 gauge 5 16th diameter chain uh, covering 
on light gambeson and uh, the ballistics gel underneath. Ah, looks like you got a penetration there. Let's see how much it slowed it down by. Remember, this is butted mail, so it tends to unbend. And it doesn't have to unbend much due to the size of that arrowhead. Nope, I did not. I made it to the ballistics gel, but it is not a kill. It didn't I made go it, in. I made it to it, but I did not go in. Let's see how much is actually in there, if we can actually get it out. Uh, we made it in about this far, and we took some damage to our bodkin, but... No real, uh, did we even damage the ballistic shell? Oh, I don't even, there's no damage. So it actually pushed in, gave, and protected you. Not Pretty bad. Interesting. But it did, it did stick in it and it went into our mail. So that's the effect. Of a 60 pound bow on 14 gauge, 5 16 rings of butted, butted chain. We just bent together. Yep. It's extremely heavy for reenactment, but I mean. Very nice. With proper gambeson, it could save your life. I don't think they would wear it for one reason. And that's just because it would get unbent in battle and it was very expensive to make and you would lose your rings. I'm back with the 60 pound bow and we have 16 gauge, 5 16 inch, 5 16 inch rings and they're silver soldered. That is my equivalent because I don't have any riveted mail at the current time or riveted solid every in the row to testing that. And the idea is a lighter mail, uh, you can wear a lighter gambus under it and it should be very protective. It has proven itself before, so let's try it with a 60 pound bow and uh, our bodkin point, and we'll go ahead and see what it does. Ooh! Nothing, not at all. It hit hard though. It was unable to. It hit like, I mean, it really hit. It hit like a ton of bricks, but there's no damage whatsoever to the mail. And it did some damage to our bodkin. If you want to look at a close-up of it right here, you can see the actual solder. You can see each ring soldered shut. And each one's been uh, joined to the front. Good, nice square section this big. We're going to do the same test on the show and make sure that it was correct and that they did it right. There's the thrust. Nah. Koi. This is not the chain shirt I tested in the other videos that actually stopped the weapons. This is butted mail. You can hit this with anything and knock holes through it. Yeah, we're getting that butted. It just wasn't used. And guess what? No damage to the mail at all. And I've also heard that the axe would go clean through. Let's check that out. Well, I don't know. You might have a broken sternum or ribs or death anyway, but I don't see one damage there. Can you see that? You see any damage? Hey, this is Thrand, and just in case they try to say something about thrusting, I'm standing here in front of that same chain, and this is silver soldered, equivalent to uh, riveted. And notice it did not punch through. So, what I'm trying to say is they should have tested riveted mail. That's what I've been saying all along not um, butted or just bent together. Now this is Thrand. I want to show you here we've got brazed mail. Each one of these rings is sealed. They're shut. They're actually soldered shut. We're going to test that here today against this bottle. And the reason we're doing this is because in uh, Deadliest Warrior they said Wallace, in the William Wallace episode, uh, wore butted rings. They did not wear butted mail. I will show you why. Put this over this. And as I was saying, we've got one layer of padding, just like they would have done back then, and one layer of chain over it, and this is all brazed together. And if we try to thrust through this, and I'm trying with everything I got here, and the worst we got, you check here, because it couldn't go through the rings, is little bitty niches, little bitty pinholes in the bottle. Meaning, we've got about this much of the blade actually going in. There we go. These are butted rings. Now, if you look at these butted rings, 
they unbend easy. Anything that stabs them or sticks into them. Now cutting, they'd stop one good blow, but then they'd unbend. But you can see these are just bent together. They're not, uh, they're not riveted. They're not soldered. They're not solid rings. Uh, medieval mail was solid rings and riveted rings every other row. Almost every European mail we found. There was none that was just butted. They did not make it. It wasn't worth the trouble all the time of making it and wearing it. It would be useless. And that's why. And as you can see, in the Wallace episode where they tested it, they used butted mail, which was not used historically because it wasn't worth the time or trouble to make it. They did this too and locked and loaded when they tested an arrow against it because they bought standard uh, reenactment mail that people make, not actual real chain like was worn, which was riveted, solid rings, uh, so on. As you can see, this is useless.